Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be installing this wig from Beauty Forever Hair. I have a 5x5 lace closure wig. It is 180% density in its body wave and 24 inches. I'm starting off by coloring the hair. I'm doing the watercolor method with the Temptation Jet Black Hair Dye. And I made sure to spray the lace to protect it from the color. And I used the Got To Be Glue spray. And this is near boiling water, it's just super, super hot. And I put the entire bottle of the dye in there. And then I just went ahead and put the wig in there. I let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. I really can't remember. I think I went away to do something else while I let it sit there. So it sat for, you know, a good little minute. After rinsing the hair, I did go in and bleach the knots. I used a 30 volume developer with the bleach and I let it sit for about 45 minutes. Now I'm going into plucking and I'm making sure not to pluck close to where the middle part will be because when you start to pluck in that area, it looks a little weird when you have the wig on. So I sectioned that part off and I'm only plucking the sides. Looking back, I definitely could have plucked a little bit more, but in person, it looked like I had plucked so much hair and I'd rather pluck too less than too much because you can always go back in and pluck a little bit more, but once you get to the point where it's too much hair missing, then like it's pretty much over with. But I really love making these videos and being able to try these different things with hair because I've had so much growth and I can always like go back and you know see where I might have messed up or what I could have done better and if you guys think that you can't do your own hair if I can get to this point where I am now to where it looks pretty darn decent so can you because I struggled for the longest but it just takes a lot of practice and not to say that I won't ever go back to a, a hairstylist I definitely will but this is so great that I can actually do my hair and have it look pretty good especially since I like to change so often. It saves time, it saves money, and you guys know that I've had many struggles with these stylists. If you follow me on Instagram or you watch my YouTube live that I did like a few weeks ago, you guys know that I have definitely had my dealings. So being able to, you know, do my hair from time to time and not have to, you know, go through a stylist is just, is great. So guys, I say all this to say, keep practicing, you got it but anyway I just continued plucking the only other thing that I feel like I could have done better with this install is to actually um, do the part the middle part on the mannequin instead of trying to do it on my head I should have like tried to define that part a little bit more but other than that like I love this install like it sort of looked like I had went to hairstylist to get it done like I don't want to toot my own horn or anything but I feel like it came out pretty good so yes I just put a little bit more and then I went back in to you know check the part and make sure it looked not the part but the um front of it to make sure that it looked pretty good and like I said you just want to make sure you stay away from getting too close to where that middle part will actually be or wherever your part is you don't want to plug too much there just on the side So now I'm going to be doing a quick mold down of my real hair and I know it's looking real raggedy, real strange, but I think I'm going to be doing a hair update to give you guys some insight of my hair journey. I'm going to be doing that really soon, um, so definitely stay tuned for that, but um, I went in with the Nairobi foam, but I quickly realized that it was not doing the trick so I had to go in for the big guns and I got the tropical roots foam that I have that has like a really firm hold.
Okay, so I dried it for the most part without the cap on, but I finished drying it with it on. And then I'm gonna cut out my little ear tab so it will stay on until I get it glued down all the way properly. And then I took Ghost Bond and I put it, you know, just a little strip to where I'll put the actual closure at. I saw this method on Instagram um, where they just use the, you know, the hair glue to do the ball cap as well. This is so much easier. It's so much faster than doing the got to be glue gel method or even the spray, especially the spray. That takes centuries to dry, but this did not take long at all. I blow dried it on cool for about five minutes and then I just sat down. I just got on my phone or whatever and for like 15 minutes while I just let it continue to dry and this is so much easier it holds so much better than the got to be glue method and I also feel like it's gonna be a little bit better on my edges fingers crossed like I hope I don't take this wig off to like a disaster with my edges in the front but <laughs> I think it's a lot better because with the got to be glue spray for example if you spray that like all over the cap and stuff like that's getting stuck to your hair and everything so I sort of like this method I can't wait to try it again with a full frontal so yeah I really like putting the glue down and it was easy and so much faster than any other method so here I'm just cutting off the remaining of the cap and then I'm gonna get really close to you know where I put the glue to get that cut as well now I'm going in with some makeup to make sure everything blends seamlessly this powder was a little bit too dark next time I will definitely go in with a lighter shade I didn't it doesn't look bad on camera at all but in person to me in my eyes it's just a tad bit too dark but next time you know I'll do better now I'm going in with the ghost bond again to get ready to get the wig placed on and I'm just doing two dots this gives you like the perfect amount of glue that you need just dot 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 and then you spread you sort of want more on the cap than you want actually on your skin. So like the more you get it on the cap, the better than getting it on your actual skin. And also what I've found help, helps um, to give it that seamless, smooth look is if you do like a wide amount of it on the cap. So you want like a, you know, a good amount of glue actually on the cap so it will go down really flat and be really seamless. And now I have placed the wig on and you wanna make sure that the um, where the hair starts on the lace is where you started the glue, of course. And I forgot to um, do a little disclaimer. I'm sorry for the back and forth between me and the mirror and the camera and the looking directly into the viewfinder, but you guys know I just moved so I don't have a filming setup area at this time, but it's coming. So I don't think it's going to be like this for long where I'm doing all this back and forth stuff. But thank you guys for bearing with me. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm going in and cutting the lace. So I let the little elastic band, I don't even know where that came from, but it works for me. <laughs> I let that sit like for overnight um, till I could get back to doing my hair the next day, have on some makeup. Don't mind if the makeup is looking a little weird. Like I said, I don't have a filming set up and I have not done my makeup in like literally two months. So yes, anyway, I'm just gonna go in now and we're gonna straighten the hair and do the edges and you know, make sure the top is flat. Yes, we're about to go and do all of the detail work now. So I took the hair balm and I just put it on top um, on that closure, we want to make sure this is super flat and taking the, the hot comb and just really going in and making sure it is as flat as possible. Um, I also went in sections after this. It wasn't, you know, as flat as I wanted it. So I went in and took sections. I don't know if I have that on camera, but we'll see in a minute. Let's keep the tape going. <laughs> but um, just took a little section, like took a front section of the closure, separated it off and then put some of the balm, I can't even think of the name of that, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I took some of that and then, you know, made sure each section was flat at the top. Yeah, as we can see now, I did not include that, but you guys, y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all are smart, y'all know. 
And now after I made sure that top was super flat, I'm going in with my Eco Styler Gel in the green um, container and I'm doing my edges. I'm not super good at doing edges or baby hairs. It's not one of my strong points. This side came out super good, but the other, that was a little questionable, but it's all good. Like I mentioned before, I wish I had to define the part while it was on the mannequin because it can get a little tough when it's on your head having to define that middle part. But I went in with some concealer and then some mascara to make the line a little bit skinnier. I do have the spray that you like spray your parts with to make it super skinny, but I find it really hard to do on myself. I think next time I would probably go the extra mile to actually try that step to make that part a little bit skinnier, but it still turned out really cute. One thing with the wig is that the actual construction gave me a slight issue, but it's an issue that can be 100% fixed. Now that I have the wig on, I was able to see like, oh my God, like this track is a little bit lumpy right by the closure part. And I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but I noticed on myself and when I reapply this wig, I'm gonna make sure to cut the track. It's like a track that's right next to the closure part and it's just making it a little bit lumpy at the top where it's not super, super smooth, but it's all good. It can be fixed and you know, I'm gonna reapply this wig because I love it so freaking much, but I know next time, which I'm super excited about, next time like this install is gonna be crazy because I know like what mistakes I made and what I can do to make it a little bit better. So all I did after this was just continue to straighten it all around and I changed my top and I turned real cute. Like, oh my God, this was so much fun from start to finish. I actually taking my time to do like a serious install. It turned out so, 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 so good. I love this wig. I love this hair. This jet black is really doing something for me. Like, oh my God. <laughs> But yes, that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out this wig from Beauty Forever Hair. The information will be down in the description box. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video.